Blue Origin and their highly anticipated mega rocket, the New Glenn, have been capturing the attention of space enthusiasts. Founded around the same time as SpaceX, both companies share the goal of leading the next generation of space exploration. However, with Blue Origin, there have been high expectations but little to show for it. Until now, 2024 marks a turning point for Blue Origin as they prepare to unveil their first orbital rocket. The new Glenn, a project under development since 2012, promises an exciting breakthrough. Back in 2016, Jeff Bezos revealed the design during a captivating presentation. The rocket boasts a revolutionary feature, a fully reusable booster core, unprecedented at the time. Interestingly, Bezos made this announcement just two weeks prior to Elon Musk's unveiling of the interplanetary transport system concept. The competition between Blue Origin and SpaceX is heating up, and the debut of the new Glenn in 2024 will undoubtedly be a milestone in the ongoing space race. With its impressive design and innovative features, the anticipation for Blue Origin's rocket is at an all-time high. New Glenn is a revolutionary rocket that sets itself apart from Starship. While sharing a futuristic appearance, New Glenn's functionality relies on traditional rocketry, similar to Falcon 9, but with amplified size and power. At its core, this booster is driven by seven B-through for engines, delivering an impressive combined thrust of 3.85 million pounds. It utilizes liquid methane and liquid oxygen as fuel, enabling an impressive payload capacity of up to 45 metric tons to low Earth orbit. In comparison, Starship's methane-powered SpaceX Raptor 2 offers a slightly lower thrust of 230 metric tons. However, the Big Four engine, which powers New Glenn, is larger and more robust, representing a medium-performance version of a high-performance architecture. This design ensures that the engine operates safely within its intended purpose. Unlike SpaceX's Raptor, Blue Origin intentionally maintains a lower chamber pressure for the BE-4 engine, enhancing its reliability and consistency. While some Raptors encountered challenges during the initial launch, it's important to note that the true uniqueness of new blends lies not in power alone, but rather in their size. Comparing it to the Falcon Heavy, the new Glenn boasts a remarkable 40% wider cargo fairing, spanning a noteworthy 7 meters in diameter. Additionally, its length measuring double that of a standard Falcon nose cone sets it apart. While SpaceX has expressed interest in developing an extended length fairing for the Falcon Heavy, such progress remains to be seen. On the other hand, the new Glenn aligns more closely with the Starship in terms of size and cargo capacity. However, it's worth mentioning that achieving Blue Origin's claimed 45 metric tons to low Earth orbit may raise some skepticism given the rocket's dimensions and thrust capabilities, coupled with the need to reserve fuel for the landing burn. A more plausible estimate would be 45 tons in an expendable mode, where the booster is sacrificed and the engines are pushed closer to their limits. But apart from deploying Blue Origin's own orbital reef space station, it's uncertain how viable this service truly is. It's intriguing to ponder why Blue Origin designed the new Glenn to be so substantial. Is there a purpose beyond aesthetics? On the other hand, we grasp the rationale behind the vastness of Starship, with its capacity to transport a sizable crew to Mars, provide living space, ferry 100 metric tons of cargo to Mars's surface, execute successful landings, re-enter Earth's atmosphere, and touch down once more. All of these demands necessitate a sizable rocket. Elon Musk initially intended a 12-meter diameter ship for the Interplanetary Transport System, ITFS, yet the final starship compromised at 9 meters. Notably, SpaceX has its own use case for the low-Earth orbit capabilities of Starship, specifically for deploying the constellation of 10,000 Starlink V2 satellites. Although some may find it ridiculous, the existence of Starship serves legitimate purposes. In the promotional animation for New Glenn Blue Origin, it deploys a remarkably large satellite, scaling as the biggest ever launched. In a world where technology continues to shrink in size, it may seem unnecessary. However, in April 2023, an exciting announcement was made that New Glenn will be used to send much smaller spaceships to Mars. These spacecraft, known as Escape and Plasma Acceleration and Dynamics Explorers, Escape, are based on Rocket Lab's Photon Kick Stage, 
Sized at a mere 550 kilograms and measuring 70 centimeters wide by 90 centimeters long, they are dwarfed by the new Glen. It's similar to calling an Uber and having an empty school bus show up. It's massive in comparison. Even the creators of Escape admitted that New Glen is massively oversized for this particular mission, but they had limited options in the assignment. Under a NASA initiative known as the Venture Class Acquisition of Dedicated and Rideshare, or Mater, space explorers New Glen and Escapade have joined forces. The primary goal? To unite low-stakes missions with untested launch vehicles. Unlike critical Mars expeditions, Escapade won't carry a fresh rover or a pricey instrument. Thus, the success or delay of this mission hardly holds global consequences. This sets the perfect stage for New Glenn's debut, a remarkable opportunity to test its mettle. The truly fascinating element, Escapade's expected launch is tentatively scheduled for the latter part of 2024, most likely in September or October. Since this pursuit targets the Red Planet, our options are limited to a narrow window when Mars and Earth align closest. If this period is missed, the mission will face a mandatory two-year wait before another chance arises. The timeline in question adds to the intrigue. As to our knowledge, New Glenn only exists in digital portrayals. The most reliable indication of the progress made on the New Glenn project is evident in the announcement of the upcoming Escapade mission, shared by Ariane Cornell, the Vice President of Commercial Orbital Astronaut and International Sales at Blue Origin. In her media statement, she emphasized the early nature of the mission and assured readiness. However, it is crucial to consider multiple perspectives rather than solely relying on sales representatives. Hence, we turn to Rob Willis, the principal investigator of Escapade from the University of California Berkeley Space Science Laboratory. Willis expressed concerns regarding New Glenn's launch status, but after witnessing the impressive work conducted at the Blue Origin facility in Cape Canaveral, his worries diminished significantly. It's truly remarkable to witness the progress made with Blue Origin's vehicle and the exciting advancements in the Big Four engine theory. The company has achieved tremendous success by securing a partnership with United Launch Alliance, with the ULA Vulcan rocket set to conduct flight tests before New Glenn. This invaluable information suggests that New Glenn's development may take longer than anticipated. Unfortunately, Blue Origin's plans faced an unexpected setback when the Centaur upper stage of the Vulcan rocket experienced a flaw in its design, resulting in an explosion during a recent test. The cause has now been identified as a structural weakness in the ultra-thin steel shell. This setback necessitates the redesign and reconstruction of the upper stage, which will undoubtedly prolong the timeline for a test flight. However, it's important to note that the big four engines have demonstrated flawless performance thus far, and the booster has successfully undergone a static fire test, confirming its readiness for launch. The delay solely lies in the upper stage's reconstruction and retesting. While it may be unlikely to expect a flight test for the Vulcan in 2023, Blue Origin remains committed to pushing forward with New Glenn. However, when reviewing their track record, it seems like Blue Origin has veered off course. They never fully developed New Shepard to its intended capabilities, nor maintained a consistent launch schedule. Although they conducted a few manned missions and experienced a major setback, they haven't made notable progress on the rocket since then. Now, they are attempting to rush New Glenn into service without proper testing or a strong rationale for its existence. Their ambitions include constructing a space station and landing on the moon. Rather than proceeding methodically, they are trying to outpace their competition and rise to the forefront without even accomplishing orbit. It is crucial to emphasize that Blue Origin has yet to launch any of their products into space, despite aspiring to lead the space race. I, personally, have never sent anything into space, nor do I have any intention to do so. Therefore, I am not criticizing, but simply highlighting the evident facts. Nevertheless, this is an intriguing narrative to discuss, and we eagerly await the upcoming progress of New Glenn. Join us here every week for more updates on the interstellar exploration. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to Door to the Universe for more similar content.